It's got rhythm and energy and lyrics in English and Hebrew. Wake up, my friend, we go, we praising the shim with all of our soul. The creeper is fighting, we know, we raging a war, we won't let him go. Even if the... It's a rap clip about God and faith with more than a million hits on YouTube. And it's led American rapper Nissim Black here to Israel's Tel Aviv airport. Nissim is bringing his wife and four children from their hometown of Seattle to a new life in Jerusalem. I'm feeling very, very happy right now. Very excited. <laughs> very excited. I'm happy because we're home and we, we made it. We made it. <laughs> Nissim converted to Judaism in 2013. He changed his name and his appearance. This is how he sounded only a few years ago. Then he was D Black, a Seattle rapper from the mean streets. His parents musicians and also drug dealers. I always say I didn't grow up in the streets, but the streets grew up in my house. So I was very, very exposed to, to a lot of different things. I started smoking pot when I was in the, when I was 10 years old. Started dealing it when I was when I was 12 years old. His parents were jailed. His Muslim grandfather came to raise him. Nissim was a Muslim and then a Christian, until one day he went into a synagogue and was hooked, to his wife's surprise. He had recently lost his mother, leaving his father and his sister behind, without even consulting with me. Like, it was weird. Like, he decided that he wanted to just learn. Like, just learn all day. Call me Nissim and you can call me Nissim. Call me whatever, but the black isn't he. I moved on, I'm way gone. He died, trust I was there to see. Nissim persuaded his wife to study Judaism along with him. In the end, they both converted. But one thing's never changed, his passion for music. Rap is a tool. It's not, uh, it's not in itself. It exists. It's, it's a world because look at me. You could take a guy like uh, Mac Lamore. We both used rap, but in minds, I'm talking about serving God. And his song, he's talking about buying clothes at a thrift store. So it's just a tool. It's not, uh, it's not a world in and of itself, you know. Now Nissim divides his time between music and prayer. He's recording a new album and next hopes to perform in his new country. 